Yo, what's going on everybody? Choka Gaming here, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be teaching you some things that y'all need to know for your first run of Rigs of Rods. We're gonna go ahead and change a couple of your settings. I'm gonna teach you some basic controls, and I'm gonna teach you some basic features of the game so that you have the best experience possible. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you get into Rigs of Rods is change the resolution, because once you launch Rigs of Rods for the first time, it'll be an 800 by 600, and it's not gonna look very pretty. So what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna go ahead and head down to Settings, and then Video Mode. So by default, like I said, it is 800 by 600. Go ahead and select whatever monitor resolution you have. In my case, it is 1920 by 1080. So go ahead and select that. And if you want full screen, go ahead and select full screen. I think by default is on no. If you want full screen, put it on yes. If you don't want full screen, leave it on no. The next thing I recommend you change is allow Direct X 9X. What you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and select yes. I don't know exactly what this does, although it does benefit me in one way. When I tab out of the game, my map does not completely go black and my game doesn't bug out. When you turn this on, that doesn't happen. Now, after you're done with all of these changes in your settings, you need to restart your game. Same goes with any sort of setting change, you gotta restart your game afterwards. Alrighty, once you have restarted your game, go ahead and click over to the General tab. Now this is just kind of general game information. Select your language, your country, your screenshot format, so you have PNG and JPEG between those two. And if you want an extra mod path, so let's say for example you just have a, like a flash drive and you want your game to detect that flash drive and just whatever, just put that in there and it will detect all of your mods from there. And then these three at the bottom, I would not touch at all as of right now, just leave it alone, and then click over to Gameplay. Once you are in the Gameplay tab, this is where things really get fun in the settings. Gearbox mode, I recommend you leave alone for right now, I'm not going to teach you manual shifting, at least as of right now. Uh, moving on, Digital Speedometer, you can turn the Digital Speedometer on, I find it really cool. Imperial Speedometer, so this is where you select miles per hour. If you want miles per hour, turn it on. If you want kilometers an hour, leave it off. It is off by default. Engine spawn running, it will be on by default. So when you spawn a vehicle, that will turn the engine on for you instead of having to manually turn it on. I personally have it off, but I know a lot of people like to have it on. Uh, replay mode, not quite sure what that does. Uh, four commands, not sure. Enable races, uh, none of this I'm really sure. Discord rich presence, so if you have Discord, uh, it will basically tell Discord what you're doing and it'll put it in a status message like, you know, Discord does. I'm not too familiar how it works, but uh, if you have this on, it will put what you're doing, what map you're on and everything in a Discord status message. All right, so once you get those things adjusted to your liking, you're gonna wanna go ahead and restart your game and then we will get moved on to the basic controls. And of course, to experiment with the controls, you gotta get into the game. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that. You're gonna wanna go ahead and click single player and then type in simple test terrain. That is the map we'll be using for this. If you wanna use another map, that's fine, but we're gonna use simple test terrain today. Now, there are two ways to spawn a vehicle. You can either hit control G or you can go ahead and go up to the menu up here and then get new vehicle. Both ways do the same thing. I mean, I personally prefer control G, but that's just me. You do you, do whatever you want and then find a vehicle. I recommend a car or something. Today we are gonna go with a Gavril Extreme. Just gonna spawn this and uh, let's get into the controls. First off is the camera controls. Now by default you're on exterior camera. If you hold the right mouse button and you move your mouse around, that will move the camera around. If you don't hold that right mouse button, it'll just move the mouse around. It won't do anything. So that is how you adjust in pretty much any camera except for, I don't know, it's, it's uh, this camera that you can't do anything with. It's basically a panoramic view, but anyways, you can click C, change cameras, um, just look around, do whatever. But yeah, that is the camera controls and it works for all vehicles, cars, trucks, planes, boats, anything. Um, but yeah, let's get on to the vehicle controls. So the first controls we're going to go over today is starting and stopping your vehicle. Now, Rigs of Rods doesn't just have a start button, it has an ignition button and then a start button. So if you click X, 
that will turn the ignition on it will not start the car you can see in my gauge cluster you can see the check engine light and the battery light is on that means the ignition is on now your gauge cluster is not going to look like that mine is a custom gauge cluster that i installed i will get into that in another video but if you hold s it will start the car and you may have to hold it for a minute or two depending on the vehicle it really does depend on the vehicle some start in a second like mine did some take 10 seconds to start it really does depend now for the shifter controls if you click page down that will put it into drive and that will go down so you can see in the little shifter down here when i move and then page up is up gears so it's in reverse right now and this is on the default gauge cluster by the way you just move up and down gears so if i put it in reverse and let's get into the uh, pedal kind of controls here. So the arrow keys, the down arrow key is the brake. The up arrow key is the accelerator. Yeah, this thing's loud, so I'm not gonna do that too much. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll put it in neutral. And then the left arrow key, of course, turns left. And then the right arrow key turns right. And uh, those are those and then p parking brake there's no handbrake control that i know of uh there could be one there probably is one but i don't know of it i just know the standard parking brake and that is all i know now let's get into more accessory style controls so you've got your headlights and that would be the n key so as you can see the headlights are on turn those back off and then the horn h that would be the h key and then a couple more controls for you backspace so let's say your vehicle gets damaged, you crash it, and you want to fix it. Go ahead and hit backspace, and that will completely repair your vehicle. Now, if you accidentally hit the, uh, what is it, the apostrophe key next to the enter key, you can see at the bottom left-hand corner it says soft reset mode. If I hit backspace while in soft reset mode, it will not repair the vehicle. It only allows me to move around with the WSAD keys. Um, and it will do absolutely nothing as far as the pairing goes. If I go into hard reset mode by pressing that same button, the apostrophe key, next to the enter key, now it will repair the vehicle. And a uh, little life hack here, a little trick, if you hold backspace and then use the arrow keys and the WSAD keys, you can do all sorts of stuff. And if you hold shift, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. Or, my bad, that is control that you hold to speed up. So, uh... If you want to make a car fly, there you go. Let's drop it to the ground. As you can see, it is uh, pretty well damaged. If I hit backspace, there we go. It is now fixed. And let's say, for example, you want to repair it and return to your spawn point. That would be for the I key. And there you go. You have returned to your spawn point. All right, so your turn signals and hazard lights. Your hazard lights are going to be next to the zero key. So there's your hazard lights. And then on the comma key, that will be your left turn signal. And then the period key, that will be your right turn signal. And that's pretty much it for your basic controls. Now let me show you how to turn the car off. Just hit the X key again. The same button that you used to turn the ignition on will turn the ignition off. Now I'm gonna show you some pretty cool features of the game. There are two features of the game that I'm gonna highlight today. One of them being the save feature. So if you go up top, you can see that you have quick save. And if I were to save this, you can see I have quick load, so I can load this up. And then you have multiple different save slots. You can see I already have one, and if I were to click it, it would load it up. Now I'm not gonna click it, it would lag everything out. Um, you've got your vehicle screen, of course. That's not what I'm highlighting. This is another thing that I'm highlighting, the vehicle AI. I'm gonna have a whole separate tutorial on this. This is super cool, but um, yeah, if you wanna look at that, just have a look at that. That'd be awesome. Again, I will have a video coming out on how to use it if you don't know how to use it. But um, yeah, those are the two features that I think are super cool in Rigs of Rods. Hopefully you learned a lot today. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do feel free to drop those in the comment section below and I will tend to them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it, just subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, I have a link to our channel the Discord server where you can hang out with me and other people from the community in the description below. With that being said, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.